So we continue Kitzor Shulchan Aruch, and uh, we continue with loads of tzitzes. <clears throat> Sorry, it's a little detail, but uh, it's uh, that's what we need to cover. So it's, uh, as, as we said before, Kitzor is a is a shorter version of the of the actual Shulchan Aruch. Okay, so it's very minimal. So we we we'll, uh, we'll left off like in the middle of the <clears throat> sif number thirteen. So I'm going to start from the beginning, but without commentary, we just. Uh, Briefly, like uh, reads, so we have continuation. Then it says, number 13, when the tzitzes tassel is, a, tassel is affixed to the garment, it must be a total of 12 uh, thumb, thumb breaths in the lens. Okay. The sieve disca- this uh, sieve discussed halachas that apply when some of the tzitzes strings were severed after they had been affixed uh, properly. Okay, so they are fixed properly, so and then several. Okay, uh, tzitzes tassel of one of the four uh, tzitzes affixed uh, to, to each corner of the garment was severed. They are doubled to produce a total of eight strings. Okay, so basically, okay, so it's um, there, there are four, but then the double, so that's how we got number eight. Okay. And there remained, um, so it's four from one side, from from another side, I mean from uh, from the knot, the final knot, four from one side, from from another knot, <coughs> side of the knot. And uh, there remained, after it was severed, enough string to make a bow. And we said, well, what is a bow? So bow is, uh, we said, uh, there is one uh, more linear opinion. Uh, it, uh, no, it, I am saying it was more stringent opinion, was 3.2 to 3.8 inches. So, which is a lot, and more, more second opinion was 1.6 inches, so it's like right, 1.6 to 1.9, so basically like a very tiny string, like if it still remains, so, so uh, people, uh, so the rabbis say that you can still use it. Or if two strings are severed, but each is more th- than had four times the Breathes remain. Okay, so if in one severed or two severed, okay, and uh, the other two strings were complete, the length being proper measured, 12 thumbnails breathes, right? Uh, the tzitzes, uh, the tzitzes above. So if only two severed, right, and then uh, they have this minimum requirement, that, but two are, are good, so no problem. However, if three or four uh, were severed, when uh, even if there uh, if there remain of each of those three strings, four uh, thumb thumb breaths at length, right? So even uh, so, if four were severed and even uh, no three three were severed and even they three have like minimum like requirement length, and the fourth string uh, is complete, or if only one string was severed. But there is not, uh, but did not remain of it at least that length of four thumb breasts. Even though the other three string complete, the tzitzes must uh, nevertheless be uh, treated as invalid. So if three are severed, like uh, mi- minimum requirement, or even one severed, but uh, it's less le- less than minimum requirement, so it's not good. Okay, invalid, except in the present situation. For example, if there is no other tzitzis available. Okay. So, all right. So, that's uh, what we said so far. <clears throat> okay. New material, semchala. Therefore, if one of the f- of the strings were severed, uh, of the eight shorter strings hanging from tzitzis tassel, even if it was completely severed until the braided portion of the tzitzis tassel, uh, that um, contain the links. So m- meaning that if, if one was uh, one was severed and up until the knot, that's what it is. It is clearly still valid, tzitzis, tassel, because this string is actually only half of the one string. There is the, um, interesting. the, there is the half of one of four long strings inserted in the corner of the garment. So ba- basically they... Uh, as we said, they, they put four and then bend it like together, 
uh, bend it and it, it's going to be eight, right? Now we got eight. So they say even if one is uh, severed, so that it's still one, uh, like from that it comes from another side of the corner, then it's still complete. I mean, uh, so it's more than, uh, so I mean, length in general is enough. Yeah. And there is still a second half, as we just said, of the same string, which is another of eight shorter strings in a tassel. tassel. Uh, enough to make a bow, and even more than that, since uh, that side is not been severed, so I mean, it's uh, let's say it's complete, so it's more than one ball, right? And each shorter string starts um, starts out um, eight thumb dresses long. See above, okay. So basically, I mean, it's all technical details, but uh, they say even if one is severed up, up until not, but it is uh, still a continuation of it's still good. So they say uh, un in present situation. So they can still keep it, okay? If two strings of the eight are severed, two strings of eight are severed, uh, meaning they, I, I didn't say completely, right? And neither of two had four thumb dresses remain, okay? If the tinsel's tassel was made of such a way that there is a reason to be concerned that perhaps the two strings are actually two ends of the same, same long string, mm -hmm. Then the tissue tassel is involved. So basically, if uh, if we know for sure there is a same string that severs from two sides, so of course it's not good. But I'm I'm not sure how can you tell uh, since they're white. So I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure how can you tell since. Uh, but but they say if you know for sure, right? Since there are uh, there may be one string that does not have any length of uh, or fringe remained. Okay, commentary. Uh, this situation arises when, uh, when in the making of the braided portion of the tassel, care was not taken to keep the fringes uh, in one side of the knot, okay, separate from those um, on one side and the other. Uh -huh. I'm not sure how, why would they do that, but I would say it's not uh, careful. So, so basically, even though they, they, they're supposed to be like uh, four on you know, one side, four on another side of this uh, knot, but somehow they say that uh, they didn't do it carefully. So it's, it could be like uh, from the same side to 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 strings could be from uh, it's actually the one one and the same. Okay, possible, I guess. I mean, uh, just 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 looking at this the, the, the knots, it's it's impossible to say the way I understand. Okay. So it said the two ends of the same side of the knot were severed, right? So two, right? In that case, the two short strings were severed shortly from uh, two separate long strings. So if they did care, they did it uh, everything carefully. So four on one side, four on another side, and they actually continuation of each other. So even if two on one side were severed, so it's like uh, two separate strings. They said there is no problem. Okay, so it's not two sides of one, it's two, two ends of different one. And since in this case, each one string uh, still has uh, even more than minimum amount, so from one side, of course, of four uh, thumb dresses uh, on the second side of the knot, and the other two long strings are complete, the tzitzit tassels remain valid. So basically, if, we, if it's length enough, so basically he can... The way I understand, he can uh, uh, retie them, and it would be enough, like minimum requirement of both sides of this uh, severed cities. That's the way I understand. That's uh, okay. So let's continue. Even if one string was severed at the part of the string that is between the hole, the hole of the corner of the garment, and the first knot. The tzitzit tassel is well, very interesting. So now we're talking about uh, the upper part when uh, when this tzitzit is tied to the to the to the garment. So even if one of them was severed, they say they they say no problem. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the sieve ends so with the one qualification regarding these halachas. Regarding that which uh, we uh, we said that if one strings were severed and it had the sufficient length to make a bow. Uh, still remaining, 
it is still wow. So that's uh, like bottom line, right? So even on one side, uh, there is enough side to, to make it go, so it's valid. This applies only if the time, if at the time that the tzitzit tassel was made, when they were actually affixed to the corner of the garment, all the tzitzit strings were a required measurement, 12 thumbnail breasts long. Okay. And only afterwards, so basically in the beginning, initially when they tied it to the garment, they were good. So, and only like after the fact, something happened. And only afterwards uh, were some of them severed. However, if that, um, however, if at, if at that time that the tzitzis was made, there was, the, there was even one string that was even slightly shorter than the required measure, the tzitzis tassel is involved. So basically if it was made correctly and then something happens so we can find some room for leniency. But if it was tied correct, uh, incorrectly, um, I mean, it was like non, not long enough length in a, a, when, when they were tied, so it's not valid, okay. Even after the fact. 